This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, in this session, once again we are going to continue basic setting itself. In previous session also, we covered this basic setting, but in basic setting, we covered fiscal year variant. As I said, there are certain topics page which we have to discuss one by one, theoretically, practically both. So first of all, uh, we have seen fiscal year variant and it's already explained in details. What is the fiscal year variant? Why we set a fiscal year variant? Fiscal year as a variant, right? How to set up these all things, okay? Now, so what next guys? Posting period variant. So we'll have a look here in posting period variant. Okay, so what is this posting period variant all about? Look at here guys. Now posting period variant controls the posting of transactions for a specific period. Okay, now here I'll just quote an example. I'll quote an example. Let's suppose Let's suppose there is a user. There is a user. This user, let's suppose, has received one invoice. Okay, uh, because if you talk about like uh, whatever the vendors and customers are there, right? So lots of vendor invoices, customer invoices, JVs, lots of transactions are getting posted. Now here, user A, let's suppose, is the part of a account payable. So user A has received an invoice on, let's suppose, 25th of, let me change, Okay, so now here on this date, we have received the invoice on this date. Okay, now so 25th, if the invoice was received on this date, right, then it was supposed to be posted or recorded on the same date okay as for accounting principle and rules also transaction must be recorded whenever it is taking place now here this user let's suppose this user has forgotten to post this transactions okay this is called let's suppose invoice date this user has forgotten to post this invoice on this date now, say for example, after 15 days, this user is able to remember, or after 20 days, user is able to remember on this date, right? On this date, user is able to remember. So on this date, the actual posting, actual posting is happening, okay? Now here what is happening, let's suppose if they are not using any other ERP, like let's suppose they are on, they are not on SAP. They are using different ERP, might be Tally or any customized ERP or any QuickBook or lots of other ERPs are there. So now here what is happening or, or they are using the books of account itself. So what is happening like, let's suppose we are having, so what will happen, this fellow is not having any kind of burden and all or tensor and all why because he knows very well that even though it's 10th of august or 12th of august or 28th of august whatever it is but he is having options to manipulate the book it means this let's suppose they're using the books of account itself okay purchase registers so now we are in august month okay so the transactions belong to July. Transactions belong to July and we are in August month. 
this fellow what is going to do simply going to bring the august month register and we'll make some editing somewhere he is going to insert this transaction also okay this transaction is going to be inserted in the previous month purchase register or is let's suppose if any customized erp is there in that also they will be having some you know workaround and they will post the transactions in the previous state okay now so the question is where is the issue okay he forgotten like it's okay he posted this in the previous if the transactions belong to july it was posted in the july register itself or books of account itself so where is the problem there is no problem guys but yes problem will happen during audit okay let's suppose let's suppose in july month in july month there was a total transactions let's suppose worth of i'll quote a very small amount guys right, so that it will be easy to okay so the total transaction which was posted worth of thousand rupees in august month it's already in progress okay now so this is the total invoice amount let's suppose now on this invoice amount let's suppose on this whatever it is it's a service related invoices and all now on that total pds got deducted let's suppose 10 percent it means 100 rupees so everything is finalized the book has been closed okay so now here now here and total payable so now total invoice worth of thousand and total in the sense multiple invoices i'm talking about and on that total tds has been calculated that is 100 rupees so if we calculate the total payable total payable then the total payable will be 900 thousand minus tds total invoice amount minus tds 900 this is okay the book has been let's suppose this is closed everything is done now this fellow has realized this fellow has realized that i have made a mistake and forgotten to post an invoice which was belongs to july month so now simply this guy is going to change in the sense we'll adjust we'll do certain what is this one now so what is happening he is going to add like 1000 plus let's suppose 100 1000 plus let's suppose 100 so this is the transaction now so this is going to be adjusted guys so it is total how much 1100 rupees and based on that even if we adjust the tds also it will be 110 books of account got adjusted now instead of 1000 in that 100 has been added so it will be 1100 rupees okay and total tds let's suppose if somebody is going to adjust if if they are having options to adjust it's okay 110 has been it, it he or she made this 110 okay now so the total payable will be how much now it will be 1100 minus 110 so 990 right this is the total payable okay but if you talk about whatever the tds has been deducted okay the actual that's was 100 everybody just be on mute okay so that there won't be any noise okay so now here actual if you talk about the actual deduction of this tds it was 100 rupees itself now what is happening later in august month in august month this fellow has brought the books of july and made the adjustment in the sense inserted certain entries okay so now the tds from 100 it got changed to one one ten 
okay but generally what is happening guys whichever the tdls are getting deducted let's suppose there will be certain deadline like till fifth of every month in the sense like see every month tds is getting deducted let's suppose whatever this uh what to say like uh, from whatever july july month tds is there let's suppose like from first of july till 31st of july whichever amount has been deducted it's it's going to be like somewhere you are you have to whatever the uh, respective department is there tax department is there right let's suppose we have remitted this in the sense the payment has been made till third or fourth or fifth of next month it is going to be the payments are going to be remitted in the sense whatever the tds related amounts are there so on 31st of july the book has been closed and they finalized that yes this is the final tds amount okay or might be people are going to give some one or two days extra for this closing okay they finalized and what is the final amount they found guys it was 100 rupees itself so if you talk about the actual actual payment actual payment of tds actual tds payment that is how much the actual tds payment is 100 rupees itself okay the actual tds payment is 100 rupees itself whereas the books of account it's showing 110 it means it is got deducted 110 but what is happening the actual payment was made in 100 rupees itself so whenever the internal audit or external audit is going to happen of this particular organization say for example if, if, if the audit is going to happen then in that case what is happening auditor will most likely they are going to find out okay if somehow they find found you know found out this mistake and all then what will happen guys this is not at all good for our reputed organizations right any kind of discrepancies in terms of tax and other things are not tolerated right so now because of the mistake made by one guy right look at here the impact okay the actual payment of tax is less than the actual deduction okay but later on what is happening because he inserted this so now it's it's very difficult to identify who has done this when they have done this right and lots of things are there so i explained this scenario okay let's suppose if we are using some different erp or if we are using some books of account or registers and all now we'll talk about sap okay now let's suppose in tata motor sap is going to be implemented sap is going to be implemented so what will happen these fellows these fellows in the sense a or any such kind of other kids teammates or team members or, or like whatever the other employees are there these people are very much habituated of these things and so that they are very much careless why because they know that even if you forward into post any transactions no issues we can make some adjustment posting and all and this is how we are going to escape and won't be able to no one will be able to find out our mistakes and all now uh, they have switched from whatever their previous erp is there from there to sap or even if they are maintaining the books account, accounts and whatever things are there that is past in the sense that become history now they have switched to sap so guys sap is having control what control sap is having a functionality called period open and close functionality okay so for that we have to define this posting period variant look at here Posting period variant controls the posting of a transaction for a specific period. Say, for example, look at here, guys. Okay, so here, okay, I brought this here.
it's happening like this. Okay. Now, now here, let's suppose we are having this posting period variant. So what is happening, guys? Now in posting period variant, let's suppose we have defined a posting our company code is TM02, right? So even posting period variant, we have to define a posting period variant in SAP. Okay, we are going to define a posting period variant and the posting period variant also have defined, let's suppose a code will be defined, TM02. Okay, like let's suppose we have defined posting period variant. Okay, posting period variant. We have to define a variant and let's suppose the posting period variant, so it fits a four digit code. Okay, 48 code is there. Now let's suppose our company code is, and our company code is TM02, right? So here, company code, company code is TM02, okay? And even posting period variant also I'm going to define with the same code. I'll tell you guys better to define with the same code so that it will be quite easy to remember all these things or else what will happen every time we'll forget what posting period code I have given, what period status variant code I have given, right? What chart of account code I have given later on these things will be covered. So even for posting period variant also I'm going to use the same code. Okay, so we have defined a posting period variant. Okay, so and this posting period variant is going to be assigned against your company code. Assignment is also required guys because this posting period variant I have defined for Tata Motors. That you know and I know how SAP will come to know. So assignment must be there. It means we have defined a posting period variant and then we have assigned this posting period variant against our company code. Assignment is also there. Okay. So here the assignment is happening against your company code. Now what is the use of this posting period variant guys? So it controls the transaction posting and for the a particular or a specific period. Period in the sense month. Now let's suppose I'll just give a very easy example and then we'll show you guys in SAP how it is going to happen. So let's suppose we are having this TM02 that is your posting period variant and this is linked with your company code also. Now, whenever, whenever a transaction is getting posted, now let's suppose take the same example, take the same example. Now let's suppose, the same example. Let's suppose this, this incident has happened in the previous year in 2018. Now we'll take the example of 2019. Same example, same, Things has happened. So now what is happening guys when this fellow was in July like when when we were in July month right so July month means what guys if you talk about July month then July month is which period just let me know guys July month is which period how you know which period is July anybody just reply so if it is uh, Indian uh, calendar year uh, it's uh, fourth fourth month if it is uh, calendar year it's a seventh month okay so yes everybody are saying for here i got the reply also from the other uh, everybody Hansaraj. so everybody has given the reply okay so whatever you are saying is uh, correct for because april 1st may 2nd june June, what is the third, and July is the fourth period, right? Since we are following April to April to uh, March, okay. If it is the end of December, then of course July is the seventh period that is why it is. So here in July month, fourth period will be open, okay. Everybody are posting the transaction, it's okay. Till now there is no problem. The moment we entered, the moment we entered in the next month that is august month then what will happen august month means your next period 
that is fifth period is going to be open but even the previous period also will be open for two three days so that what will happen whatever the adjustment related entries are there okay because month in in month in lots of activities they uh, user has to do and you know they'll be having some workload so whatever the adjustment related entries are there they can do okay so now look at here let's suppose today is let's suppose on till till 3rd of august august period is also open and july period is also open look at here in the sense from period 4 it means july and then august both are open okay it means what is happening guys it means user will be able to post a transactions which belongs to july period also and user is will be able to post a transactions which belongs to august period also okay but after third once we enter once it become fourth of august then what is happening july period is going to be closed now there is no more entry accepted in july period okay if anybody has to post the transaction in july period then once again this period need to be open this period need to be open but for that you need to approach to your project manager to you need to approach your you approach your manager or tl whoever the senior guys are there because those people will be having authorizations okay to open and close the periods you guys cannot do this in the sense like associate level people ground level people cannot be able to open and close the period so now what is happening on fourth it's closed so now this fellow this fellow has realized on which date 10th of august 10th of august so now this fellow is trying to post a transactions on which date 10th of August but at the time of posting the transaction there will be in SAP there will be certain field guys in that date in that field we are having like options document date and posting date we'll explain the logic behind document date and posting date there will be a topic called terms of payment or payment terms at that point of time right now just assume that posting date itself simply assume that posting date in the sense like whenever the transactions are going to be posted so this fellow instead of since today is 10th so posting it by default system is going to bring 10th of august itself but this fellow is going to edit this 10th of august and he or she will use 25th of july in in, in posting date field generally generally system is going to give you a system is going to propose 10th of august but now instead of 10th of August, user is going to edit it and user is going to make it 25th of July, right? It is like user is going to edit from 10th to 25th of July. Okay. And then user is trying to post this transactions. But I'll tell you guys, whenever, whenever user is going to post this transaction, the system is going to check. Okay. This is like 25th 07 2019 so here if you guys are able to remember and we have also defined we have also defined what fiscal year variant right so in fiscal year variant system is going to find out whether whichever whichever the things like let's suppose let me fill up here okay so now whichever transaction is getting posted okay it belongs to 25 07 2019 so in background system is going to check which uh fiscal year variant we are using system came to know it is non-calendar year and what is the beginning of that like non-calendar year means april to march because the setting we have done in fiscal year variant guys so easily system is going to is easily system will come to know this non-calendar year means april to march we have already defined and march is the first period right march is going to be treated as a first period and then 
sorry uh, uh, it's, a, it's a like mistake april is going to be treated as a first period okay and uh, may 2nd this is third and july is the fourth period right likewise fifth and so on so forth and here it will be nine right and then here uh, 10th 11th 12th right 10 12. this is what it will be so easily system is going to convert like to 07 means july okay july july is which period fourth period okay since the transaction is getting posted in this date so 07 means july and july is fourth period as per our whatever the fiscal year variant we have defined as for that what is happening july is going to be treated as a fourth period guys and look at here system is going to check okay fourth period so system is going to check which posting period we have defined for an assigned for tata motor so it is tm02 which is assigned against our company code also now system will check against this tm02 posting period variant look at here against this tm02 posting period variant which period we have opened so system found that from period 5 and to period 5 it means only one period is open if it is from period 4 and then and to period 5 it means from 4 to 5 it means july is also open and august is also open but here the same is different only august period is open it means we have locked we have just trying to understand guys it's quite easy we have locked the previous period and even future period also okay if we have locked the previous period and future period also for posting it means posting will be always allowed in the current period itself and that is july okay so now here user is posting in the previous period system will not allow to post the transaction okay then this fellow is going to receive an error system will throw an error and saying that the period 04 is not open okay or the period 04 is already closed so it means now what will happen guys this guy is not having authorizations to open the previous period now what will happen now he or she has to approach to the team leader to the manager requesting them that i have made a mistake and the invoice which belongs to 25th of july is not posted yet okay so kindly open the previous period so that i will post this transactions on the correct you know posting date why because and why it required it requires like why this transaction supposed to be posted on 25th of july guys because if you are going to post on 25th from there itself now there will be a contract between vendor and companies that okay if you are going to uh you know whatever the invoices we are receiving from vendor the payments will be made after 30 days or after 45 days or after 60 days from the date of posting so if the posting is going to be if the transaction is going to be posted on a correct date then only the 30 days whatever the payment terms is there that is going to be calculated perfectly by system it is this is also going to calculate by system perfectly automatically okay so it means the transaction must be posted on the date on which it has taken place so if you are if you want to move make the posting on 25th of july then what will happen previous period must be open right so he has to or she has to approach to the project manager sorry or our tl or whoever the authorized person is there so now what will happen once then what will happen guys he has to accept the mistake also so guys mistake means you can do it once or twice you cannot do it several times then next time onwards what is happening guys next time onwards this guys will be quite what to say vigilant and all in terms of like 
whatever the transactions are whatever invoices he is receiving trying to post on the uh, you know same day and all in order to avoid any such kind of mistake because he knows that already he has made some previously he has made some mistake and already it is noticed by the management if he approach to the management third time and fourth time and all then that is going to be counted as negative right so look at here guys this is how a kind of control is also happening the kind of control is there on the employee isn't it and even there might be chances there what is the benefit of this period of enclosure this is the one there might be chances that you are going to post a transactions which belongs to let's suppose august month now we are in august period so instead of instead of let's suppose this is three years so instead of posting the transactions in august month you have given instead of 08 we are going to give 09 then what will happen guys if there is no such kind of functionality then system will allow to post the transaction even in future months also which is not possible how the future month transaction is going to be posted today itself right so logically if you look have a look then mistake is of his case so even as if you will not allow why because this september means what case it is sixth period so once you are going to post the transactions immediately the system is found that no only august is open so it is not possible now so what i said we come back on our things now here since 25th of july right 25th of july so fourth period is going to be open by management and mr a is going to post the transactions happily okay the transaction will be posted so i'll just do one thing guys so this is what i was explaining that we are having control which control guys posting period variant control the posting of transactions for a specific period okay posting of transactions for a specific period now and uh, period one okay this is already i have explained right means if it is calendar year then january will be the first period if it is on calendar year let's suppose if we follow april to march then april is the first period now here so i will just do one thing guys let me log in and we'll define a posting period variant and we'll open and close the period okay so here how to define posting period variant guys to so define the posting period variant use transaction code o b b o okay this is the transaction code we are using in configuration document i'll be giving path and everything will be there don't worry so now click on new entry and as i said posting period variant i'm going to give tm02 itself even this is our company code also so if we use the same code then it will be quite easy to remember these all things that is the only logic okay here you can give certain descriptions just press enter nothing else save it press enter since the changes are going to be saved on the same transport request now what next guys this posting period variant we have created for data motor so how the system will come to know for that we have to make the assignment we are going to we have to assign this posting period variant with your company code so how to assign slash n o b b p is the transaction code okay o b b o for creation and b p for posting sorry for assignment so here click on position 
give your company code and then look at here this is your company code right so which variant we are going to assign cm02 just save it so we have created a posting period variant and assignment has been done now what to do guys open and close the posting period okay so we'll do one thing slash and ob 52 press enter and now here i have explained how in very simplest way right posting period variant from period year to period year but if you have a look guys if you have a look here the conditions are quite different right i will let you know don't worry don't worry at all it's quite easy nothing is there in that to understand first of all what you have to do you select triple zero one this first one select this one and click on copy okay easily in the easiest way we are going to understand okay tm02 you know what is happening guys give your tm02 and your account type plus okay we are not going to do anything right now just keep it as it is account type plus means it is going to allow all kind of accounts from period from account and to account don't give anything leave it blank as it is now from period one so here we are going to let's suppose if it is fifth period then give fifth period 2019 year is okay two period is also fifth period 2019 this is the special posting period guys right now we are not going to give a special posting period as i told you guys that there will be a separate session i'll share later once i share the interview question and answer so there you will be having a perfect understanding of this but right now we are going to keep it blank press enter so this is our posting period variant okay now so as i said like here from period two here what we have specified here people have specified like earlier it was a uh, special posting period was specified but this logic you will come to know later now there is one more use of this guys first of all you save it control s okay there is one more logic and what is the logic of this cross from period two that i will tell you now here what we have done this is our posting period variant okay the cm02 from period one means like from period in the sense fifth period 2019 to also fifth period 2019 what does it mean guys it means only august is open only august is open now let's suppose let's suppose this a is there and again the same thing still he has not posted the transactions belong to transactions belong to july okay and his friend is there b this is having a friend b and this fellow forgotten a forgotten to post a transactions which belong to 22nd of June. Okay, this guy has forgotten to post a transaction which belongs to 22nd of June. Now, what is happening, guys? This B is going to admit his mistake to his friend that here yeah, I have forgotten to post a transaction which belongs to Zoom month. Then A is going to say that. Then what is the solution? Now, what is the solution, guys? Then He'll say that no, I have to with it. I'll have to accept my mistake to the text in front of PL or whoever the authorized person is there so that they will open the period. Uh, July, uh, June means what, guys? June means which period? If you see here, June is your third period. So now this fellow will say that I'm going to admit this and so that third period will be open okay and once it is open i'll post my transactions now look at here this fellow is quite clever now he thought 
okay that if if he has already made the mistake and is going to accept this then why why you know it's for me it's better to wait and watch because once he approach and for him once the third period is going to be open then immediately this field, this person will be able to post the transaction in the fourth period also because from period three and fifth to period uh, fifth fifth in the sense five it means three four and five all three are open okay here i'll just do one thing here from period three i'll save it what is happening from period three and to period five it means third period is also open fourth period is also open and fifth period is also open so what will happen this b will be able to post the transactions okay posting possible and even a also will be open able to post the transactions okay so this b has approached to the management accepted the mistake saying that kindly open third period now whoever the guy is having whichever guy is having this authorization that fellow is also quite clever and he knows that there are some guys might be they have forgotten to post the transactions in the previous period in the sense, in the sense july month these fellows are not coming to me okay once i open the third period what will happen those fellow those fellow what they are going to do guys cleverly they are going to post the transactions now then what is happening this person is quite clever and in from period one look at here fifth period has been fifth period is open it will be as it is now this fellow is going to open the third period here 2019 and again third period here 2019 now look at here guys this is this is what this is how he has opened the period so only august is open and june is open but where is july guys there is no july so what will happen this fellow is quite happy because he posted the transactions if a is trying to post the transactions system is finding that seven seventh means in the sense july july means fourth period so system is going to check okay against tm02 in from period one what is there fifth in the sense august right then we are ha having one more period which is open in from period two so that is also third only where is fourth fourth is not there so it means this fellow will not be able to post the transactions then what will happen again he also has to approach to the management accepting the mistake and then what will happen management can open anywhere like let's suppose if third is if the if mr b has confirmed that he has done the posting because 10 15 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes are more than enough to post the transactions right then what is happening fourth period is also going to be open it means third is closed and fourth period has been open and this is the current period which is already open okay this is the benefit this is the another benefit of from period two guys even something what is happening consultant will have this responsibility in some of the organizations what is happening consultant also will have this like they will open and close the period generally this is going to be given to the end user itself but if you as a consultant team if you, if you are having this you know like uh, authorizations and all then if your user says that keep the current period as it is and open the third period or open the second period then what we are going to do guys second period means here we are going to open it means august is open and may month is open in between whatever the other periods are there that is not open so this is the logic behind this guys there is a logic behind this of this from period two okay let's suppose here three now let me say it okay so now what is happening this this fellow is only able to post a transition he is unable to post so now once he approaches the management management has opened the fourth period okay because third is if third is done in the sense b has done with the transactions then third period is closed and fourth is open if b is still 
using or posting then here third period is going to be open from here or is here itself we can make make it three to five okay so now anyway these all things are possible now now i'll do one thing guys i'll delete okay there is one more thing guys that i have to explain okay what i have to explain i'll tell you now let's suppose okay now let's suppose three friends are there this a b and one more guy is there c okay try to understand guys this is quite interesting topic okay and all three all three what guys all three are close friend and everyone has made one mistake this a forgotten to post a transactions which belong to previous period 25th of july this guy forgotten to post our transactions which also belongs to previous period also and this fellow also forgotten to this fellow also forgotten to post the transactions which belongs to pre previous period so different different dates are there guys but if we talk about the period period is the same right and okay so since all three are quite you know close friend so what is happening let's suppose this a during like let's suppose they went somewhere to cafeteria and a has revealed his mistake before this b and c and saying that i have done a very big mistake and i forgotten to post a transactions which belongs to previous period now if i go to management if i go to uh, my team lead Definitely this fellow is going to scold me like anything because previously also I have made a similar mistake and I promise that this mistake will not happen going forward. Okay. So and even the same kind of things have been done by B and C also, but these people just kept quiet. This didn't utter even a single word. Okay. Though they have also made the similar mistake. So now what is happening? A is saying these things these people say that yes yes you must have to accept your mistake and you just request him to open the period and whenever it is getting open just you know kindly inform us okay or is anyway all are sitting side by side only so anyway they will come to know if it is open now what is happening so this a approach to the management pl or manager whoever is there authorized person accepted the mistake whatever lecture they have to give you know they have already given and then after that what is happening the period is going to be open okay but here once again the fellow who is going to open this previous period okay once again the person who is going to open the previous period again this person might be that that what they're going to do he or she whoever the you know authorized person is there may realize that okay there might be some other guys also who is who has made the similar mistake those people are not coming to me right only this guy has come now what this person is going to do then fourth period is going to open okay fourth period is going to open okay and here and here Generally, I guess this this uh, fourth period is supposed to be open here, guys, and fifth period is supposed to be open here. Okay, this fourth period, fourth period supposed to be open here and fifth here. But anyway, I just I'm putting an example in there. Okay, now so leave it. Now fifth fifth period I have opened here. Now fourth period has been opened. Fourth period has been opened by the authorized person at the same time this fellow is going to keep on authorization group here this fellow is going to keep one authorization group that is xyz and what is the use of this authorization group guys this xyz authorization group 
against that the person who is going to open this period is going to link okay actually in that like i'll tell you guys this is not 100 percent done by functional consultant even there will be involvement of technical consultant also guys basis consultant i'm just going to explain the logic okay whenever you have whenever you receive such, such requirements and all you must have to involve your basis consultant also because certain rules are supposed to be there which is going to be assigned with the user ids and all and those authorizations will be there with the basis consultant but i'm trying to explain this scenario in the simplest way so that whenever if you have such requirement this is quite easy once you invite your basis consultant they are going to provide you solution within a second that yes what to do you raise the request i'm going to do these things and these things so this is going to be done now so you just try to understand this scenario so what is happening as i said like a has approached with the management realized the mistake accepted the mistake now management what management has done they are going to open the previous period fourth period they have nothing they have not done they have not done anything here in the from period one it is the current period is open previous period opened here but management has assigned one authorization group also let's suppose any code four digit three digit two digit code can be so this authorization group xyz and against this authorization group let's suppose this user id is mapped okay or inside of this okay so here the user id is mapped against this one okay now here now here what is happening whenever a is going to post the transaction system will allow system will allow why because 07 07 means july july equals to what fourth period system is going to take fifth is open it's okay but even fourth is also open okay but system is going to see that against fourth we have applied a condition okay against fourth we have applied a condition here we have given authorization group saying that one authorization group is assigned what does it mean guys for this one we have applied a condition that against this authorization group whichever user ids are linked those people only will be having option to post the transactions and which user id is linked guys a user id is there so a will be allowed at the same time if b and c is going to post the transaction again system is going to check fourth period yes it is open here right but authorization group is there xyz but against this authorization group b and c user id is missing let's suppose there is no assignment of these people in the sense like these people are not having having authorizations okay guys in that like if you talk about practically of course certain differences are there but i have just created a very easiest scenario so that you guys will be able to understand and you will come to know that yes these scenarios are having in sap and it is this kind of controls are there in the posting period value this is why i'm just explaining by quoting this stories and all okay so now what is happening this b and c let's suppose these people are not having authorizations because what is happening guys here we found that only one user id is mapped okay these people these two user ids but these two user ids are missing here so what will happen these people are not allowed they are not allowed now they will be also surprised how can it possible that his friend is able to post the transaction in the same period but we are unable to we are unable to so even such kind of control is also there in sap guys so now you can look this is of one example itself are given here and back to still we are in beginning in the sense we have just now we have started our journey we are having lots of topic guys we are having lots of control uh, in sap which will be explained one by one because lots of topics are yet to discuss right lots of topics are remain okay so now look at here what kind of control is there now what will happen even these fellow also has to approach to the whoever the authorized person is there to open and close this period and they also have to accept the mistake then what will happen guys then 
base to user ID also will come into picture. Okay, against this authorization group that let the post B and C is also mapped. Okay, so what will happen? Even these people also will be able to post the transactions against this post period. Okay, if you talk about this posting period variant, guys, there are some more things in this, right? But I think uh, since we we are like we have done the configurations and that to not complete configurations, right? And uh, I think uh, we are having like let's suppose still we have to do some more configurations to post the transactions. Okay, so now there are some more things, guys which will come into picture later okay don't worry okay uh, so now later in the sense in the further we're about to say lots of configurations we have to do we have to post the projects and all so there are certain things there are certain logic which you guys will come to know okay and even in interview question and answer segment also i have given some explanations why because Posting period variant means what, guys? It is having control account wise also. Your plus means all account type is going to be, you know, like uh, what to say, allowed for this transaction posting. But if you talk about account type, we are having customer, we are having vendor, we are having GL, we are having assets, we are having materials and all. So right now, since those things are not in the picture at all, so I'm not going to explain those things right now. Okay. But whatever things I have explained here, this is also quite exclusive guys because if you talk about the only creation of posting period variant matter of one minute even less than that within 30 seconds also we can do this right in 30 seconds also we can do this but but what is happening guys let me delete this okay but understanding is the most important creation doesn't important guys look at here in one single topic how many things are there right and still there are some more things as i said will be explained later now i have to explain one more thing okay make it 2019 here okay and save it now what is happening so look at here guys now if you talk about so this is fifth period. In the same way, in the same way, we are having this till December. December means ninth period, right? Ninth period, 2019. Okay, it's okay. Now, if you talk about January, January is falling. I'm talking about now. I'll explain about the year shift once again. In the previous session, what I did, guys, I told that I'll put again example so what is happening guys in here january month means what if you look at your january month means 10th period so 10th period we are going to open 10th period of which financial year guys even though we say is 2019-20 but what is the actual financial year it is 2019 itself which is going to be ended in the march 2020 till march 2020 our 2019 will be there okay and from april 1st onwards what is happening guys the 2020 is going to be started okay battery is low okay so now in april in april 1st april 2020 onwards 2020 financial year is going to be started so we are in 2019 until 31st march 2020 also we will be having in 2019 so now here 10th means January, January 2019. Let's suppose we have opened 10th period 2019. Okay, so we have given this one. If you are going to post a transaction in 10th period, okay, if you are going to post a transaction on 10th period, what will be the date, guys? It will be like let's suppose on 5th of January 05 2020. This is the date we are going to give. So now here how system is going to identify right 10th period but year is 2020 right so here of course for that we are having let me open I'll show you guys it's quite simple 
uh, O B twenty nine for fiscal year variant. Yesterday I covered this topic fiscal year variant. So come back to fiscal year variant, guys, and we'll have a look here. Just wait. It's taking some time. Okay, so our fiscal year variant is what it is T2 and double click on periods. So look at here guys, now what is happening if we post on which date actually it is not 10th guys, I have made a mistake, it is supposed to be 0 1. Okay. 5th of Jan. Okay. 5th of Jan. Now, so let's suppose this is the posting date. So once you post this, now your system, how system will come to know? Now this is January. January belongs to 2020. Right? So how system is going to? So here first period means, first period means what guys? How system is going to count? First period means, first month, which period? 10th period system is going to have a look 10th period is open but 10th period for which year guys 2019 itself but here what what year we have given guys here year we have given 2020 so system will be confused now look at here guys here we have also specified year shift year shift means what guys we are year shift look at here shifting means like you can change you can say like change right so what we have given an instruction to the system that yes first month in the sense january is the 10th period but if you talk about year then what system has to do whatever the current year is there minus one so system will come to know generally it is not 2020 it is 2020 minus one 2019 so 10th january means 10th period of 2000 19 so system is going to check your yes end period of 2019 is open right look at your 10th period of 2019 is open this is the logic behind year shift if you talk about year shift guys this is the logic behind year shift okay 10th period of 2019 if we are going to post, let's suppose we are having 0 second, 0 second, 2020. Let's suppose we are in February 2020. We are going to post at Project Excel, right? February means what, guys? Now system is going to check. February means second period. Second month means what, guys? It is 11th period for us. So system is going to check. 11th period is open or not? Let's suppose we have opened. 11th period is open okay now what but in year it is showing 2019 here in transaction what is happening guys it is 2020 so again look at here in front of february in front of february we have given year shift minus one so what does it mean even though in at the time of posting of transactions in posting date is it, it is 2020 but actually what system has to do what is it? 2020 minus 1. 2020 minus 1, it means 2019. So your system is going to check that 11, 2019 is open or not. Yes, it is open. System is going to. So this is the exact use of year shift, guys. Year shift, generally, what is happening? It is always going to be used in case of non-calendar year. Okay? And year shift means what, guys? Year shift means either it will be it could be specified in minus or plus in both cases try to understand this it is going to specify in my in the form of minus or in the form of plus if, if i say it's like here minus one instead of minus one if you give minus two then what will happen guys then what will happen here let's suppose we have posted this transactions 01 2020 so 2020 system is going to it is minus two minus two means system will treat this 2020 as a 2018 itself okay but generally in practical we are not going to give minus two 
I've just quoted an example. It will be minus one only. Okay. So this is the use of ear shift, guys. Ear shifts are going to be used for what, guys? For calculation of actual financial year. Actual financial year. What is happening? Because in non-calendar year, you have to say in non-calendar year, certain portion of the month, certain portion of the periods are falling in a different year. Okay, even though it's we are in 2019, but one quarter in the sense January, February, and March, the last quarter is falling in a different year. So once we open the posting period, then what is happening, guys? We have to specify the year also. We have to specify the year also. So in actual posting date, what is happening, guys? It will be showing a different year, but the period which we have opened in that the year is different. So how system will be able to coordinate so we have given year shift here year shift means whatever like posting date is there in that whichever year is there in that system is going to reduce one and this is how system will be able to identify the actual year so this is the logic guys year shift you have to say if somebody is going to pass 40 meter by year shift and all then you have to say that year shift is going to be specified for non-calendar year, it could be specified in terms of minus, in terms of plus. And if you're going to say that it is going to be specified in terms of minus and plus, of course, people will ask, can you quote one example? So minus, I have already given, right? Minus, I have already given. If you talk about plus, if you talk about plus, I'll tell you guys, let's suppose, let's suppose, we are having, like 2019 is going to be started, if you talk about 2019, then as per calendar year, it is going to be started from Jan. Okay. Calendar year. Calendar year. Non-calendar year, it is going to be like if it is April to March. So it is going to be started from April. Now, let's suppose, so 2019, and it is going to be ended till 31st, right? Now, let's suppose, if there is a country where October 2019, from October onwards itself, from October itself, again non-calendar year, from October 2018 itself, they are saying that our New year is started. It means October 2018 is over. In the sense, September 2000 in September 2018 is over. October will be treated as a new year. So October, October 2018 means 0 1 10 2018. Okay. This is going to be. Like, let's suppose they are following what, guys? They are following October to September. Okay, October to September. It means October 2018, first of, it means first of October, okay, until 30th of September, right? So October is following into, October is following in 2018, and this September is following in 2019, right? Okay, so now here, this is the fiscal year. Okay, so it means October 2000, October 2018 itself, where 2019 started, in the sense, new fiscal year started. Now, what will happen in that case? So here, one, two, three, four, everything is okay. But here the period is going to be changed. Okay, where is the October, guys? This one, October, November. So here onwards, first, then second, then third. And then what, guys? Then it will be fourth period. And fifth period. Sixth period. And here, better to give zero. Okay. Sixth. Then here we are having seventh, eighth, 
nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. September two thousand nineteen is the last period of that particular this one. So now here, what is happening, guys? October onwards, October onwards. Okay, so where is that? Okay, here it is. Three, right? Okay, so one, two, three. So October is the first period. So now what is happening? Even though, if you talk about, let's suppose, first of October. Okay, so what is happening, guys? First of October means the period is 10th as per calendar year. But as per non calendar year, this is first period. So here, what is happening, guys? First period is supposed to be open. Okay, but we are saying 2019 because October onwards 2019 started. But in actual posting date, which year is there? 2018. So how system is going to how system is going to count this 2018 as 2019? So here in SAP. We are going to give year shift plus one, plus one, plus one. Okay, so it means 2018, October 2018, right? Plus one means system will be able to identify 2019. So October, then November, then December. Till December, we need to give this plus one, plus one. And from January, January onwards, already we have entered in 2019, right? So only system has to read out. Only system has to read out. Let's suppose if it is first January 2019. So system is going to read out the period. Zero one. Zero one means what guys? Zero one means what period? And here no issues because 2019 is there. And here we are going to open for 2019 to 2019, right? So this is how what is happening, guys. Year shift is going to from tonight and if you watch this video once and twice easily you guys will be able to understand i'll tell you guys i'll tell you sometime what happens people will ask what is the logic behind your shift okay you're not getting any definitions it's okay not any not any suits but even you can make the interview or you can explain the things by quoting the example also if you are going to put a perfect example of course, people will people will come to know that you are having a perfect understanding, okay? And if you have perfect understanding, they can check your knowledge by giving by giving a different examples also. So if you are having understanding, you will be able to understand the question, and if you are able to understand the question, you will be able to explain the answers also. Okay? So try to try to understand the concepts which I am explaining here. Okay? Till now, what we have done, guys, till now in basic settings, I have created fiscal year variant. I have created posting period variant. Only two, two settings we have done. Now, look at here. It's a matter of two minutes. Or even if I have to do within one minute, I can complete both settings. Creation and assignments, let's suppose. Or maximum two minutes, let's suppose. How many sessions it, it has taken, guys? Completely two hour plus. In the previous session also, it was cross one hour. And here in posting period also, already look at here this much time it has taken okay it's, it's almost going to be uh, one hour 20 minutes or something so now so this is the logic behind ear shift guys okay what is this ear shift all about if somebody is going to ask what definition you are going to what 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 is the explanations you are going to give us in a simplest way i have already explained so that in interview in the form of interview question and answers that i'll give you that's everything is yours only right nothing to be worried about but here the understanding is the most important instead of mugging up the question and answers right if you're having a perfect understanding here then whichever the questions and answers i'm going to share to you guys later that is going to be quite easy because you just have to look on the answers answers means what guys i have just Put, I have arranged all the sentences in a systematic way, right? So this is how you guys will be able to give a very perfect answers with some suitable examples and all, right? So now 
what I have covered here, I have covered this posting period variant. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to, I wanted to cover other topics also, but again, posting period variant itself, it has taken this much time. Isn't it? So, thank you guys. Uh, now, okay. So, okay, we'll uh, close this session here itself. Okay. So, that's all in this session and that's all for today.